Hello. Welcome to the King's River and Mine. I'm on guard duty. I'm supposed to be watching this stuff. No one's come down here in years. Yeah, the king has no use for me. Well, you must be pretty bored also if you came to this place. Why don't I show you around, show you some of the stuff that's going on. So what do you want to see first? Where should we go? So much to do, so little to... Wait, what's that I hear? In the distance, do you hear that? The tournament is starting! I completely forgot! There's a tournament today! Oh, you'll love the tournament. The tournament is where knights and noblemen would fight for honor, right, fame, and glory. Oh, there will be competitions in jousting, fighting, and archery. Let's hurry before it starts. Well, the first game we're going to have here at the tournament is archery. Now, this game was not just based on hitting a target, simply. It was based on accuracy and distance. Now, I haven't shot one of these in quite a while, so I'm a little bit rusty, but we'll see if I can get a target. Maybe I can get a prize. All clear! Whoa, you suck at aiming, you elf-eared giglet! What, what did you just call? That was even worse than the last one, you ill-bred moldwarp! Ah! Oh. That one, that, that, that one was too bad. The duel was also another form of the fight. Now, sometimes they would go for points as to hit each other's bodies. Other times, it was a fight to the death. Sometimes dueling was just done in city streets commonly. The church at one time even agreed that dueling was an okay way for you to decide who should own what property by the winner getting it. Oh, God. Oh, uh, what did you do to me? Oh my goodness, you cut off my legs! You cut off my legs! You cut them clean off! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh. 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 Losing blood. Oh. Oh. This is just one of the few side effects that dueling could ah. possibly cause. Rest in peace, old friend. Uh, Pieces. The joust was one of the largest events at the tournaments. Two knights or noblemen would ride towards each other, clad in armor, ready to try to knock the other one off his horse. Although some would continue to fight after their horse, that's a different story. But for now, I've been able to get myself a place in this joust. My opponent is going to be here momentarily. Here he comes. And so, the joust begins. Due to graphic content, the following footage could not be shown. Sometimes the winners of tournaments got fame, gold, recognition. But in the case of our winner here, he gets to kiss the one, the only, the stunning, the magnificent, Benjamina Ranita. No kiss for you? Okay, so after being at the tournament, which is a great source of entertainment, and seeing that fair maiden that the winner got to kiss, I thought of our next subject to go to. Torture, which was another great form of entertainment. Now, I personally have a close friend who's an executioner himself. And although you might think him barbaric and cruel, he's actually an artist of his time, practicing skills that not many other would even dare to take up. Here, we'll see if he's home today. He might be at work. Ah, hello, old friend. And how are you today? As usual, I see. Uh, I was happening to wondering if you could possibly show us some of the modern forms of torture you've been using lately. As I said, torture was as much of a form of execution as it was entertainment. 
one of the most simple and most common executions was behead mint. But, 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 but the executioner today has provided to show us something called the rat torture. But instead of a rat, he has found a cat to use instead. Now, the way this torture would work is that the rat would be placed in the victim's stomach, naked usually, and then placed inside a container. The bucket would then be heated until the animal had to dig its way out, thus causing the victim torture and death. The Spanish tickler, as it was called, was another form of torture. It originated in Spain. Usually, it was a blade or a claw that would be used to mutilate the person. Sometimes, as in this case, it was attached to a long-handled pole so that the torturer could perform the torture from a distance. The victim would usually be restrained so that he could not fight back, and again he would be naked. Now you might be wondering why the victims are always naked. Well, this was to add to the humiliation. As I said, torture was a common form of entertainment, and people enjoyed watching people get humiliated. Now, usually this process was long and painful, but in this case, I still have to be alive to do the rest of this video, so he can't really kill me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed everything that I got to show you. I sure did. Usually I just sit around and guard nothing. Today I got to go to a tournament. I got to participate in the joust. I got to participate in an archery competition. I got to fight in a duel. I nearly was killed by Beheadman, by the Spanish Tickler, and by the Rat Torture. Well, as much fun as all that was, I've got to get back to guard duty. Maybe some other people have something to entertain you with. Maybe some food to eat or some clothing to look at. I don't know. You'll have to ask some of them. Well, bye for now. Execution on his daily commute to work. The only Benjamino Ronita. <laughs> Let's go see why he thinks he's better than us. Get out of my trailer! <laughs> How do you feel about playing a woman? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> How do you feel about playing a woman? Oh, shut your face! <laughs> this is what's gonna happen when you cut me in half. The very loud broadcast.